Welcome back you guys, today I'll be showing you how to make 500k every single day in EAFC. So if you're new around here and you want to make some more coins so you can get a team like mine, you are in the right place, just make sure to subscribe while you're here, we're giving away 9 sets of FIFA points and all you've got to do is subscribe, send proof over on Instagram and you'll be entered into the giveaway. Now if you do want some coins in a bit of a quicker way, well, if you guys are fed up of coming against sneaks like me and foot champs who use loans and OP cards from day one, I'm getting really sick of you! Get out now! Then you need to head over to MitchCactus.com where not only can you buy the cheapest and most reliable FIFA coins on the EA market, you'll find over 10,000 reviews from people who have used the services and enjoyed them in the past. So make sure to head over to MitchCactus.com and use code RECALL for 5% off. Now, as usual, I'm going to go to a bit of a weird screen for the first part of the video. We can, of course, have a look at icons. Why? Because you can make a ton of profit over the first two SBCs. We've got Born Legend and Rising Star. You get three common players and then a small silver players pack. Now, I know that sounds irrelevant. But we all have 11 we all have 11 bronze rares in our club. We all have 11 rare silvers in our club, and they're likely to be untradeable, or we have some untradeable. Pop these in, you get guaranteed profit back because if they're untradeable, it is free profit. And a lot of these packs of the silver ones are going to have an evolutions-based player or a player that can be evolved, which will go for a little bit more coinage. Now, the other thing you need to be doing is marquee matchups, the Black Friday general. I mean, all of these are tradable packs. If you're not doing them, your word I can't say on YouTube. Make sure to do them because they're literally giving away free coins. I mean, marquee matchups is guaranteed profit. UEFA marquee matchups is a pretty good bet. And Black Friday challenge, I mean, it's a dub. Now, of course, once you've done that SBC, I would always suggest that you go and do marquee matchups and UEFA marquee matchups because one, you can get unlimited packs by doing a route of crafting. And of course, two, they're guaranteed profit. So if you're not going to do the crafting route, then you're getting some profit out of it. Now, the next step is, of course, to go to the market where you're going to find yourself filters of all sorts. Now, the best way to filter these out right now is to go over to base here because obviously the base hero and base icon packs have came out which means any hero 86 and above has actually dropped a little bit so if we have a look at who we've got i mean on the higher end we've managed to get another controller so we can carry on talking about this so essentially any hero that had any value when they were above 86 they've all gone down quite considerably so you want to of course find your hero filters the best ones i would say i mean di natale has dropped from 1.1 or 1.2 million coins to below a mil which is insane and being that we've all had some coin rewards if you open the big packs it might be an interesting route to go down so definitely the first one i would have a look at is italy minimum of 200 000 coins you're going to find the likes of marquisio and di natale now, Marquisio was around 400k. So let's have a look where he's gone to. We're looking around... It looks like 360 is probably the mark for him. So let's get a good snipe in. Now, bear in mind, some of these you could argue would be an investment because as it stands, they're way cheaper than they would usually be because obviously a lot of these guys have been packed in the guaranteed hero pack. Now, obviously not everyone's opened these packs, which means it's not like the value of the card is going to change exponentially. It's not going to drop millions, but you've got the likes of Di Natale who hasn't in my eyes, I haven't seen it, gone below a mil at all this game and he's gone below a mil. So I think that's a very good sign with these ones you might want to just spend a bit of time compare pricing on the Marquisios until you find one. I mean, you're going to be looking for about 30k under. So for this one here, we'd want a 350. It's going to be 10k profit. If you want to look for a little bit lower, if you look for a 340, you're going to make 20k profit per card. So obviously, you've got to spend a little bit of time on it. Decide where you want to put your mark. But all hero filters right now are going to bang. So if you take yourself over maybe to the Premier League, minimum of, I'd say, probably 100k as well, actually, and base hero. If we have a look at these guys, you're looking at Cole, obviously. You've got company there insane that companies there actually we've got king um who else have we got i mean company is a, a very rogue one. ramirez okay so i think the, the best one to do right now being that that specific one cdm i mean this is insane 500k for Ramirez. I mean, th this SPC is absolutely obvious. Well, SPC, this pack has absolutely mudded the market for heroes, which is brilliant. I've wanted to try Ramirez all kind of FIFA, and apparently, um, apparently Torre actually dwarfed him, but I still want to try it. So, at this one, we'll say it as if they're 600k, so it's 590, 600k, EA tax would be 30k. So, we'd go one, two, three. Obviously, that's just break even. So if we go down to 550, anything below that, obviously, this is a 10K profit. Anything below, you're adding profit each K. So to be honest, I actually think this is a really good route to go down right now. If you are on the higher end of things, now some of you are going to be sat there saying, well, I don't have the coins for this. Don't worry, we've got filters for you as well. I am an inclusive man. So what you want to do, there's a couple things. Firstly, base hero, or and not even base hero, 
tell a lie. Minimum 10 to 50, we're gonna go over to Norway. And the reason we're dropping this is because this one will have dropped even further. So you've got Odegaard and you've got Scholzer. Now this is just a bit of a highlight of this filter. We've got written in there as well. But what you will see is if we make sure there is no gold, let's pop this on to 15K. You should see we've got some Odegaards there. When it goes to, let's have a look at the cheapest Odegaard. So as you can see, Odegaard 86, he's going for around 18K as well. So we've got those two, we've got Wrighton in there as well. If you do a bit of comparison, Hair price, you're absolutely laughing. It looks like actually that one there would be a snipe. Okay, well, it was, but we've missed it. 15k there. If you pick it up for 14, EA tax is going to be. Uh, oh, that was bad. EA tax on 15k is 750 coins, which means on this one, a 14. You're making a, a nice, clean 300 coins per card, which I think is a win, to be honest. Oh. I thought we got that. I really thought we got that. The reason I didn't try again for those of you who maybe aren't or, or are newer to this is because there's no point. You know the card's going to be gone at that point. Maybe not because it was there on the second search, but a lot of the time you, you just don't want to hurt yourself by, you know, searching and not being able to get it. Is the menu broken? No. Okay. The only reason I checked that as some of you, it's broken. And we're back in the room. I'm actually kind of sick of the menus on this game. I don't know how they are so bad, like constantly. But like how do you release a game for fucking 50 quid or 100 quid if you bought the Ultimate Edition? And it just doesn't work. It just makes no sense. But we've seen Modric on the transfer list, which is a good point to go over to Real Madrid. If you pop over to La Liga Santander, you want to go minimum 10 to 50 and Real Madrid. Let's have a look who we've got. Of course, you've got Modric. We're going to have the likes of Cruz. We're going to have the likes of Bellingham. Um, we're going to have the likes of Rudiger. Uh, we've got Rodrigo there. So you can obviously rattle this down to different things. So first of all, if we just go for Germany, you're going to have the likes of Cruz and Rudiger. So that's a nice little filter with an 85 and an 86 on. Of course, the other route you can go down with this is if we pop it onto center mid center mids from real madrid are pretty good you've got the likes of Cruz, modric we should have bellingham coming up as well is he is he a cam as base let's have a look his base is not a cam so he will come up as well what you can do is let's like have a look at valverde so he should probably find himself along with these guys a little bit more than he has for the rest of the year so 100 he's looking more like 180k so if we go to midfielder real madrid quick consultation with footbin says that bellingham's standard card goes up to about 40k so if we go minimum 60k midfielder madrid we've got valverde's inform we've got modric we should have bellingham's inform as well bellingham's inform there about 130 so if I stop sneezing, we can get some good snipes in. Because if we have a look, I think that is perfect. So Bellingham isn't far at all off of what Valverde is going to be looking like. So 160k here. We should be able to see some Valverde coming up. But if you sit this at around 130, you can just compare price your way to a Bellingham. EA tax above 100k. I mean, 13, it's going to be about 7.5k. You could literally pick one up for 120k and you're making profit, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, being that it's literally literally 10k under value like it, it, for an inform of this caliber that will be gone, coming up a lot people are going to make the mistake listed it's a really easy no-brainer and what you can do is minimums the same and do this as a bidding filter so set the max to maybe 100k and just bid on every single card that comes up so if we were to do that we would do we take off the max buy now wait what, what would we do we do minimum buy now 60k or 50k we do the max price at 100k and we should okay bellingham comes in so we want to get that above minimum buy now at 65 well there you go so this is kind of the realms we'd want to be in so of course you bid on all of these you can bid yourselves the bellingham informs i think bellingham inform is the one that you'll win on bids the most i mean even if we look at we don't want to do the 11 hours that's the i mean one hour 80k there's not a lot of a chance that I'm definitely getting that one because obviously it's an hour off, but I can bid that up in future. I mean, this one's 50k. We'll get a bid in on that because realistically, how much is... Oh, we don't, we don't want to buy an hour. Uh, Modric is worth like 300k. So we know the bids are going to go up. We can follow it. And if we find that it goes for a price that we're happy with, we can, of course, buy it. And what you can, of course, do as well, the, the one thing that's going to make you a ton of coins right now, it's actually incredible. Or you, you literally click a button and you make millions of coins is subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.